While every market is different, you know here in central Maine, because of the overall lack of inventory, the market is hotter than ever. We are still experiencing well over asking price again. We are now back to multiple offer scenarios. And as a lot of home buyers starting to do things like ask themselves, should I waive inspections? And in fact, some buyers are waiving inspections to try to make their offer stand out over all of the others. And while it's true, it might give you a competitive edge in the eyes of the seller, is it the right thing for you to do for your investment? Maybe, maybe not. Stick around, we're gonna break this down today. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is your central main realtor, Nick Isgro with EXP Realty. And today, I wanna to go through why an inspection is actually so important to your investment. And even though there's a lot of pressure in the market right now to waive inspections, it might not be the right scenario for you depending on the home that you're looking at. So, you know, things are getting crazy out there, a lot of multiple offer scenarios. It does give a competitive edge, but why would you wanna have inspections? What is it even for? We're gonna get into that today. Now, before we start down that road, I wanna welcome you here to the channel. If you've never been here before, we cover all things real estate here in the state of Maine, particularly right here in the central Maine market. If that's of interest to you or adds value to your process in the buying and selling of homes, or maybe you're just interested in Maine real estate, do me a favor, go ahead and like this video, hit subscribe, knock that little alarm bell, you'll be notified every time we put out new content. Now, before I get into any of this, I wanna start right at the top of what an inspection is and what an inspection is not. Because there is certainly a misconception out there in the mind of a lot of buyers and sellers, really, that the home inspection is to come up with a to-do list for the sellers. That's just not the case, and even more so, it is definitely not the case in a seller's market like we're in right now. It doesn't mean that there's not room for negotiation, and we're gonna get into that a little bit later, but what the inspection is is to get a non-biased view of the home so that you, the home buyer out there, can get a valid opinion of your home and really understand the full cost of ownership in that home. Now I understand too, if you're a first time home buyer and things are really tight, it's really easy to skip that two to 500 bucks that it might take to get the home inspection done. But is it really saving you money in the long run if they uncover a lot of other costs? That's what I wanna talk about. So let's start right at the top. First and foremost, that inspection does give you another out, if you will, when you're looking at that home. You start to put your eyes on the home a little bit more than you did. What's happening right now in the market a lot is people are coming to homes. A lot of times it might be an hour open house on the weekend, a couple of days of showings, and then you have an offer deadline. So you know there's going to be a multiple offer scenario in a lot of these cases, and you go in, you've had maybe 15, 20 minutes, you look at the house, and you have to decide if you want to invest two to $300,000, maybe more than that, that's not really an appropriate time for you to say you've got a thorough look of the house. The inspection gives you that opportunity, not only for the inspector to go in there, but for you to go in there yourself and give yourself time to really look through the house. You have a few hours on most inspections to really go from top to bottom, look at every nook and cranny in that house. And if you see things that you didn't see before, things that are not acceptable to you, frankly, you have that period to say, you know what, hold up, we'd like our earnest deposit back and we'd like to go look for another house to invest in. This just isn't the right one for us. And that's not necessarily a statement about the house. If you're a seller out there, it's not for you to be offended by that. It might just not be right for them. It might be totally fine for somebody else because everybody has their different limits, their different tastes, their different abilities even to handle the things that you're looking at. So it's not necessarily a statement about the house. It's just saying that maybe that's a second time for the buyer to say, you know what? maybe this wasn't the right choice for us, we might decide to not move forward on the contract. Now, my second big reason that you really probably don't wanna skip inspections is this. It's the safety of you and your family. You're buying a home, there's a lot of things you just can't see to the naked eye as you're walking through there that a professional who knows what they're doing can go in there and do things like test for radon, radon water, get the water tested, check out the attic, the basement, and every other nook and cranny for potential mold problems that could cause a serious health problem to you down the road. There's a variety of things that really could be safety related. Maybe it's the electricity, maybe there's faulty wiring in the home, and that home's on the verge of burning down. I'm not trying to really paint a doomsday scenario here, but these are legitimate issues that are going to be looked at by the home inspector so that A, Maybe that's one of the things you say, you know what, we're not ready to move forward on this. Or maybe that's something you can actually negotiate with a seller, either a better price, or maybe it's something oftentimes the homeowner didn't know about themselves. They're willing to fix it before you close in the house. 
Either scenario, however that plays out, this is a way to make sure that the day you move in, you have a high level of confidence that you and your family are in a safe environment. This next reason why you might not want to skip home inspections is something that a lot of people probably aren't going to think about, but it is something that you're definitely going to run into in a lot of states, particularly a rural state like Maine. There's a lot of do-it-yourselfers out there, not saying they don't do a good job, but is it up to code? Are there illegal additions to the home? Are there illegal installations the way either a septic or the electric, some kind of system, it's a major system for the house was installed. If it wasn't done legally, if it wasn't done up to code, this is a time for you to know that because once you own the home, that's your job to get the insurance. That's your job to deal with the town or municipality, however that plays out. So this is a good time that an inspector who's familiar with the state laws, familiar with a lot of these problems that could come up potentially in the different municipalities, they're gonna be able to uncover that and find that most likely and let you know about it. Again, doesn't mean you back out of the contract, but it might mean you need to do some legwork. A good example, I have a business partner in the southern part of the state who was out and they were having home inspections and found this very thing. There was an addition that was put on the home. I think, believe it was a room over a garage. There were no code enforcement permits, no town permits uh, that were taken out during the time of construction. So they actually had to retroactively get the code enforcement officer in there, make sure things were up to code. They actually did have to make a few tweaks, but when the buyer bought the home, they knew everything was good to go, wasn't their problem to deal with. Another great reason that you don't want to skip inspections is that inspections can be a good negotiating tool. Remember, this is not a to-do list for the seller, but sometimes you uncover big things like the septic system needs to be replaced. That's a $17,000 to $20,000 job. When you come up with these larger items, you want to work with your real estate agent to find out which ones you should bring up, which ones are negotiable. Big things like septic are probably going to always be. But things like that, they can be a powerful negotiating tool to help you either get the problem taken care of or potentially get a price reduction on the home for you to take care of that problem yourself after you move in. This next piece on the home inspection front is something that I actually see is probably one of the most common things and it is determining a future cost. There's a lot of times the home inspector will go through the house and they'll see things that are not necessarily something the homeowner needs to take care of. They're not deal breakers. They're not something you're going to walk out on, but they're things that you might find out that, you know what, in the next five to 10 years, count on this being replaced or that being repaired. It's a good way to determine future costs so that as you move into the home, you can start setting money aside or you can start planning for that project early and it's not going to come when something fails down the road as a big shock to you and to your pocketbook. Finally, in summary, one of the biggest reasons you wanna get that home inspection is that Home inspections always reveal the bigger picture. I get it, you looked at the house, you love it, you fell in love with you know, the paint colors or that spacious kitchen, that beautiful yard, but maybe that dream home is actually a nightmare and you just don't know about it. Maybe it's not, maybe it's somewhere halfway in between, but when you're putting hundreds of thousands of dollars down on a piece of property that's going to be a home for you, for your family, or maybe it's an investment for your future, in any of those scenarios, you want to have that bigger picture perspective so you know that everything that's going on with that piece of property and there's no surprises down the road. And that's not to say that a home inspector is going to catch every single thing. They're going to do their best and they're most likely, if they're reputable, going to do a very good job. So as you're working with your real estate professional, always ask who is somebody that you work with on a regular basis? How many times have you worked with this person? What are some of the results you've had from this person? We can really help steer you in the direction of someone that's qualified, has a track record of finding all the things you need to know about the property that you're going to invest. So in summary here, should you skip home inspections? Probably not. I understand the temptation. It is a crazy market out there right now and people are trying to find every competitive edge that they can. Anecdotally, I can tell you, I just went through a multiple offer scenario. We had eight offers on a home. We did not choose the highest price. The sellers opted to go for an offer that had less price, but waived the inspections. And the reason the sellers chose that specifically was because they said, you know what? We're moving out of state. We want to know this thing is a done deal or as done as it can be until the closing date. We're picking the one that's going to waive inspections. That's why people waive inspections. However, if you are the buyer of that home, there's just going to be a lot of things that you don't know unless you have an inspector come in and go through all of these systems that you may or may not be familiar with and get you that final write-up, the home inspection report that's going to detail everything you need to know about the property, which is why I always recommend you don't skip the inspections. That's it today, everybody. would love to hear your thoughts, get your comments. Go ahead, drop a comment below. What has your experience been? Have you ever 
gone through inspections and found a nightmare scenario or was it just nice to know about the home? Maybe you're on the selling side, maybe you've seen the scenario play out, maybe you chose the offer that did waive inspections or maybe it wasn't a big deal for you because you were very confident in the home that you were selling. Again, drop a comment below. Always love to get your comments in there. Of course, if you're looking for a real estate professional to guide you through this crazy process of buying a home in this market, all of my contact information is linked in the post below. Would love to hear from you, reach out, I'll get right back to you. Of course, as always, I appreciate each and every one of you sticking around to the end of this video and until the next one, I'll see you next time.